high. Don't make me turn the show around. Too late. There wouldn't be much of it. <laughs> and let me start the show by saying, gosh, Fez, I missed you. I said it to all the hecklers. He told you, God says he you. We have been off for a week. We were off most weeks, but we were actually not here for a week. And it's a little different than usual. I mean, normally we take a week off for holidays that happen to land on a Monday. But I actually got my first vacation since we started the show. I needed it. Don't get too excited. It was just Chicago. It was Chicago, and I, and I actually had a really good time. We got some Chicago out there. Um, I, I, do, I went without a plan. I went without a plan, but I got to do a lot of fun things. I got uh, Chicago Fringe Festival was that week, so I got to see uh, Barely Balanced. Hi, guys. Thank you for calling me on stage. I really appreciated that. That was cool. Uh, we got to see a couple of improv shows, we, uh, in, uh, PH Theater, and uh, oh, the Neo Futurist, which they talked about possibly, some of them have even talked about coming down here and teaching workshops, and if they do, take them, just take them. Um, and I wanted a, one last shout out to uh, Bruce Bailey from the Chicago Juggling Club when I got lonely because I didn't have a Monday or a Tuesday. I didn't have all of you. So, so when I got, I got really lonely, I went looking online, Chicago Juggling Club, and there, in fact, was a weirdly named Chicago Juggling Club. I went, and I got, I got to juggle with total strangers, which I recommend you do once and then make really good friends, because otherwise it's just strange, because you're like, hi! And they're like, who the hell is he? <laughs> but it was, it was a great trip, and most of all, I was gone exactly long enough to realize how much I missed home. I, I know I'm not, I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to get the, the awe. I appreciate the awe. But here's the thing. I went to an improv show. I went to a circus show. I went to some music. Uh, got bored one night. Actually hit an open mic and performed. They had no idea at, a, at like an old you know, poetry and, and, and singing open mic night what to do with a couple of circus people. They, they had no idea. But we got our drinks for free. Uh, coolest thing about that, this is, this is the punchline of that, was Expat Theater Company who runs that open mic, is from, Dal is from Texas. And one of them's from Dallas or Denton, and they're coming here in January. So we'll see you when you get here. But I went all over these different places. You notice this, and went here, and then we drove for like half an hour. We went here, drove for like half an hour, parked, complained about the walking, walked some more, went here. We thought about it, but we stayed like nowhere near the train. Do you have any other, do you want any other travel tips for the next time I go? Oh, good. I'll get with you later. Cool. Meanwhile, if it's all right, I'm just going gonna, gonna to keep going. Is that good? I'm going to just... Oh, I'm just good. Okay. So I went all over the place, but the thing was, there was no group. There was no website you can go and go, here's all the cool stuff going on. There was no, there was no this where all of, you know, the, the improv people sort of all stayed over here and the dancer and the circus. I met a, I, I talked to fire spinners who did not know jugglers. Seriously, they didn't. I'm not making this up. The town was awesome and full of amazing people who had never met, and you had to go to each little neighborhood. How they weren't doing it is beyond me, so this week's awesome, before we get rolling, is the idea that we created something like Creative Motion or Art Love Magic or any of these groups in Dallas that cross-pollinate, and we get to meet each other. It, it's the coolest thing, and that is, that is the best thing about coming home, was walking in the door and being right here with every type of person I know. <laughs>